and it's a pretty small venue and it's known for being hard to get seats here so we hope we get in. We were going to be driving through Nashville and we decided we wanted to go to the Bluebird Cafe. We had always heard how great the music was, how a nice, small, intimate venue it was for listening and interacting with the performers, but we had also heard how hard it was to get into it. So we decided we needed to figure out, how is this done? How do you get into the Bluebird? So the first step was to go on the website. And on the Bluebird Cafe website, they have a link that says how to make reservations. I read through all that and followed all the steps and went on at the appointed time and got in the queue line, but to no avail. When it came down to it, I, I waited for my place, and when it got to me, it was sold out. It's just such a small venue and such a high demand that it's very hard to get tickets online even. You just have to be one of the lucky ones. It's a place that only holds 90 people, and the performers can bring guests, so that cuts down on the availability of seating even more. But we were determined that we were going to get in somehow. So we just decided we were going to go there and try our luck. So that's what we did. We went on a Wednesday evening, and we got there about an hour and 40 minutes early. We're waiting outside the Bluebird Cafe. Donna's in line over there holding my place. And we tried to get tickets online, but we couldn't. So you're... <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Tried to get tickets online, but we couldn't, so your next alternative is to come and wait in line. I think they usually have about 20 standby seats, some at the bar, some on bleachers, but doors open at 5. And it's a pretty small venue, and it's known for being hard to get seats here, so we hope we get in. There's about uh, 16 of us in line right now. And they made us separate the line a little bit because we were blocking the front of the dry cleaners. So that makes sense. People still have to come and go and get their dry cleaning. So we don't want to cause a problem. They said they normally have room for 20 to 25 first come, first serve seats. But only people who can sing. So that leaves us out. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's see what our chances are. I think we're going to make it. I think we're getting in. Right? Cross some fingers. Yeah, cross some fingers. So. Cross some toes. They're going to come out and uh, cross some legs. seat us all pretty soon. So you getting excited? Yes. <laughs> and I found out there's pulled pork barbecue sandwiches. So that's even mixed with and sweet potato fries. Yeah, the menu looked pretty good. So looking forward to that. Can you see my excited eyes? Yeah. Big eyes. <laughs> so excited about the food and the music. Yes. Getting close to time to go in. It's looking like we're going to get about 20 or so walk-ins, we believe. Uh, we can never nail down a number until it kind of happens because of cancellations and that kind of thing. Uh, can you all hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, when you do get in, and if you do get in, hopefully you do get in, uh, there is a $7 per person minimum on food and drink. That's kind of how we keep the doors open. So, uh, also we are a listening room. So that means kind of keep the conversations to a minimum, keep them quiet, silence your cell phones. And uh, also you are allowed to take as many pictures as you want, but no video because of copyright reasons. That's the law, that's not even our rule, that's above us. So uh, we are hoping to get as many in as we can. And uh, for you all in the back of the line, like we'll come out and kind of tell you what's going on a little later on and to try to, try to if you need to go somewhere else, get you out of here as quick as you can so we're not wasting your time. So we'll kind of keep you guys informed as we go. So. Uh, usually people don't leave very often uh, just because it's so hard to get in. But we do have some cancellations sometimes with reservations so we are able to get more people in. Uh, so if you are not able to get in, uh, if you would like to at least come in and take some pictures and uh, buy some merchandise, that kind of thing, we'll do that a little later on as well. So, all right, so everybody kind of hang tight and we'll figure it out. I think we're going to make the cut, Donna. I think we're getting in. The bar must be very bad. I can't see it. So here it is where the Christmas signs are. 
Yeah, we got in. It's uh, not very big, but Did good seats, behind us? close to the stage. No, I can't tape later, but I want to get a view of what it's like. I just have to say it was totally worth the wait. It was a great evening of music and interaction with uh, performers. You're very close to the stage no matter where you sit. And it was some of the best live music I've heard in a long time. We would definitely recommend that you try to go if you can, whatever it takes. Uh, we did eat there. They're not known for their food. It's pretty basic food, but you go for the music and the experience of just being in that close proximity to the performers and getting to hear them perform their own compositions and tunes and it's just an amazing experience. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you would and if you get a chance to go to the Bluebird, do it. Have a great day. Bye.